Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We just wanted to take a moment to express our gratitude because we've hit a major milestone, 1,000 subscribers. We are absolutely thrilled and humbled by your support. So, before we dive into today's video, we want to extend a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you for being a part of this journey. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to continue creating content that you enjoy. Now, let's get into it. The perception of the world across different dimensions alters how we perceive everything around us, including time and space. Thinking about the difference between the second and third dimensions is relatively easy, but what about the fourth? Does it truly exist? How is it connected to our reality? And what fascinating possibilities does it offer? Hello dear friends, in today's video we will tell you about the fourth dimension, but before we dive into that, we would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be the first to see our new intriguing videos about the mysteries of our planet and universe. Let's start by understanding what dimensionality is. Dimension is a way to describe the position or size of an object in space. Let's illustrate this with a cube. In the zeroth dimension, our cube would be represented by a stationary point in space. This point has no length, width or height, only position. Transitioning to one-dimensional space, we get a line segment. Objects existing in this space can only move along this line. They have no width or height. Now, let's clone this line segment and connect the vertices. We get a square. This is two-dimensional space with length and height. In simpler terms, from a single x-axis, we transition to a coordinate plane consisting of two axes. Now, all objects existing in this space can move left and right, as well as up and down. Let's add another coordinate axis, z, perpendicular to the other two axes. We enter three-dimensional space, which, by the way, is where we live. From the square, we obtain a cube, with length, height, and width. Like everything in the universe, we can move along all three axes, left and right, up and down, forward and backward. As we've understood, to describe the position of a point in three-dimensional space, we need three coordinates, x, y, and z. But what if we want to add another dimension to our space? What if we want to create a four-dimensional object, each side of which is perpendicular to the other three? Can we do that? Here, things aren't so simple anymore. We can't just add a fourth coordinate axis perpendicular to the three others because it's impossible in three-dimensional space. We can't even imagine such a direction because we evolved in our dimension. Though some people claim they can imagine the fourth dimension. However, there's suspicion that they're either lying, deceiving themselves, or they're simply mentally unwell. But even though we can't see or imagine the fourth dimension, we can feel it. The flow of time from past to future is a kind of dimension as well. Suppose you're holding a model car assembled from a kit. At that moment, you're encompassing the dimension of time from when you assembled it to when you placed it on the table. Throughout this time, you've created a four-dimensional sculpture. Physicists unify three spatial dimensions, our X, Y, and Z, and one temporal dimension into a single space-time picture. To better understand this, let's envision a theater. In Newtonian physics, space-time is the stage, and we, humans and other objects in the universe, are the actors. We take our places and deliver our lines, while the stage provides the backdrop against which we act. We know where other actors are based on the same stage. They're in their places, delivering their lines at designated moments. But in the theory of relativity, the stage itself becomes the main actor, its name illuminated on the marquee. To make the theory of gravity compatible with the relativity of space and time, Einstein realized that gravity isn't a force at all, at least not in the way Newton envisioned it. Space-time isn't a fixed stage, but a flexible membrane permeating all existence. Space-time bends and warps under the influence of mass and energy within it. The curvature and warping of space-time, in turn, affect the motion of mass and energy, causing them to follow curved trajectories. Thus, we see that space-time is not just a stage, but a dynamic and active participant 
in everything that happens in the universe. So, we understand that we can't see or imagine the fourth dimension, but we can feel it. But what if we want to move in the fourth dimension just like we move in the other three? Is that possible? Theoretically, yes. At least within the framework of general relativity. Albert Einstein showed that time doesn't flow uniformly for all observers. Time depends on velocity and gravity. The faster you move, the slower time passes for you compared to those moving slower. The stronger the gravity around you, the slower time passes for you compared to those in weaker gravitational fields. This is called time dilation. It means that time isn't absolute and uniform. It's relative and non-uniform. Time isn't a straight line, but a curve that can bend and warp depending on how you move and where you are. This also means that time isn't an arrow that always points in one direction, but a circle that can loop back on itself. If you can move fast enough or be in a strong enough gravitational field, you can create a closed time curve or a time loop. It's like circumnavigating the Earth along the equator and returning to the exact same point where you started. But in this case, you'll not only return to the same point in space, but also the same point in time. This means you could travel into the past or the future, depending on which direction you move along the curve. But of course, all this is possible only if you could transition from three-dimensional to four-dimensional space. Four-dimensional space is a unique mathematical concept that opens up new possibilities for understanding the world around us. Although we can't physically interact with four-dimensional space yet, the ideas it implies have broad applications in scientific and engineering fields such as physics, mathematics, computer modeling, engineering, and design. Our understanding of four-dimensional space continues to evolve and new ideas continue to emerge, expanding our conception of what's possible in the world beyond our perception. Four-dimensional space can help us better understand many phenomena in physics and nature, as well as open up new possibilities for our creativity and development. Ultimately, it's not just a mathematical concept, but an inspiration for our minds, showing that there are far more possibilities than we can imagine in our limited three-dimensional world. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel to not miss out on new intriguing videos about the mysteries of the cosmos. Write in the comments what you would like to learn about in the next video. Thank you, and see you next time.